All right, look, put it on this way. Fairhope High Schooler Luke Floyd guides his team of fellow scouts putting together this playground at the Baldwin Family Village. With a choice of projects, he says he could tell this playground was needed. They need something to play on. And when I came out here, it was just a grass field and they didn't have anything to play on. So, you know, was, I thought this was going to be a good project for them. The Baldwin Family Village has been open since May of this year. And at any given time, they'll probably have around a dozen kids staying here. Because it allows our kids to just be kids and to have fun outdoors, enjoy this beautiful weather and a place where the moms can be on site and know that their kids are in a safe environment. This is Luke Floyd's Eagle Scout project, a big assignment to put a cap on his career in scouts. The 10th grader says he raised the money, picked the project, and this weekend is the team manager for his group of scouts. I'm proud of him. He's learned how to lead over the last few years, and today is uh, he's showing how, what he can do. They're putting it together while learning about the under the radar issue of Baldwin County homelessness. I had no idea personally about it. Uh, and once I learned about it, it kind of opened my eyes because uh, it's pretty, pretty hidden in Baldwin County. At full capacity this week, the Baldwin Family Village will house 31 people. Since opening, they've served a total of 53 and had seven successfully move out into permanent housing. In Fairhope, Chad Petrie, WKRG News 5.